really looking forward to getting the season going. Uh, yes, I think our team is super excited. We only have about a couple weeks left, so uh, this last month leading up to season is the uh, most crucial part of the season itself. So just getting prepared and ready to go each and every day for uh, February 9th, our first game. So we're pretty excited about it. How long did it take to get rid of that last game? Um, you know, I think it still sits there um, in everyone's mind, but it's kind of it's in the past now. We kind of got to move forward from it. I think that the biggest thing is to come out strong and continue to stay strong throughout the year. Um, I know that we have lost quite a few seniors from last year, and that's kind of like the topic of discussion on everyone's mind still. So um, just keeping that tradition alive, keeping what um, they had been taught and they taught us, and uh, keeping it alive throughout um, the younger generations that are coming up and the younger classes that come into our program, and uh, just really showing everybody what the A is about and uh, kind of pushing forward no matter what the situation is. When you first started rewinding that, what, what did you say I, I would have done this differently? Um, no, I mean, I think you can't, when you go out there, you can't have any regrets. Uh, you leave everything you have on the field. So, um, and I think that's what our team did each and every game that we went out and performed last year. You just uh, leave your heart out on the field. And I think as you could see from the last game, that's kind of what everybody did. And um, it's unfortunate, it was a very unfortunate ending, but I think that it's just gonna, we're gonna use it as a driving force for the years to come. Um, is it different being the older one now in the in the rotation? You know, being being sort of that the older pitcher on the on the staff. Is it just different different feeling feel for you guys? Um, yeah, I think it's a little bit of a different feeling. Um, we kind of went from having, I I went from having um, Danielle O'Toole, you know, kind of the upperclassman, uh, kind of doing everything with her, following her around, and um, now this year the the roles have kind of reversed a little bit. We have a lot of. Um, younger girls that came into our program um, that aren't just pitchers but uh, underclassmen but we also have transfers um, a couple of them too so um, the only person that was really in the bullpen with me was T Statman so kind of getting used to everybody and what they do and I'm um, just getting a feel for them in general because they're gonna help us out a lot this year as well so figuring out how to work as a staff figuring out how to get to know each other in the bullpen on and off the field I think that's the biggest thing for us as a whole this year and I think that um, the bullpen is doing a pretty su successful job, especially with uh, Coach T coming in and helping us out a lot too. Yeah, what's different about Taryn and then what she's tried to uh, uh, you know, implement so far? Um, I think it's great that Coach T is here. I think it gives um, the entire team kind of that younger, fresh mind. Um, I know that her and Kate are still you know, pretty recent out of uh, knowing what it's like to play at the World Series and winning national championships. And um, they still have that drive and that want to win mentality and that competitiveness so I think that it's great to have a younger mind come in and kind of um, teach us the ropes and the ways around things and this is what you need to do to get to a national championship and this is how we're going to do it um, but I think that she's been a great addition to our team uh, pitching wise and coaching wise as well. In what ways do you feel like you can improve as a junior? Um, definitely mentality I think it's always good to keep that strong confident mentality um, as well as just kind of being more of a leader on the field, um, not just off the field, but on the field as well. Um, presence, I think, is going to be a huge thing for our upperclassmen this year. Um, even the younger girls, some of the underclassmen who we kind of start to consider as upperclassmen, like Jesse Harper and Deja. So, um, and I think the addition of Malia in the infield now is going to be a crucial one as well. So I think we have a strong field this year. I think we just all got to put the pieces together and build upon it as we keep going. How important was it to add somebody like Melissa down? I think it's great. Um, I didn't really know her or anything about her until she got here, but um, her and Aaliyah both have been a great addition to our team. They fit in really well. Um, they gel with everyone on the field and off the field, so that's the best part about it. But um, I think that it's just going to help our successes this year and uh, adding another strong arm into our uh, bullpen and into our pitching staff is going to be uh, crucial for How would you characterize uh, Alyssa as a pitcher? Um, I think she's great. I think she's very spinny. Um, she knows how to get the job done. She has kind of like that uh, stoic personality on the field. Um, she works hard. She's dedicated. And I think that's kind of what all of our pitchers have in common is that we want to work hard. We want to go out. We want to show that kind of nothing can affect us on the field type mentality. Um, and I think that she came in having that really well. But um, I think that her confidence and composure on the field is best part about it. Last year heading into the season a lot of the talk was the competition from the freshmen they were sort of up in the ante for the upperclassmen. Do you feel similarities to that this season? Um, absolutely I think that not only the freshmen have kind of like upped it a little bit for everyone but 
the returners have done a great job of upping it for themselves. Um, I think we've done a really good job of holding each other accountable this year um, with accountability partners for conditioning and on the field and off the field. Um, just, yeah, holding each other accountable is going to be um, a huge thing for our team this year, but I think that the underclassmen have done a good job coming in, um, performing on the field, and really helping us grow as a team. Was that earning the A concept that Mike implemented a few years ago, was that still in play this year? Um, absolutely, yes. We um, always do that every year. We've done that every year for the past couple of years, and we've continued to do it this year. Um, so I think that that's a big part about teaching the people who come into this program why the A is so important, why it's we represent it not just for ourselves but for our team, our community, um, the people in Tucson um, and the school itself. So um, teaching everybody kind of what it's like to represent the A and what it means to wear the A is one of the biggest parts about getting this team as a whole to kind of mesh and um, bond and gel because at the end of the day it's not just our team, it's not just our coaches, it's not just us as individuals, it's the entire community around us. Not that you needed to be built back up after what happened last year, but did you hear from people outside of the circle with encouragement to, you know, to, to kind of get you ready for this season? Yeah, um, you know, the best part about Tucson is that we have great supporters and we have um, great people behind us. And I think the best thing about it is that the team that we had were very supportive um, regardless of any outcomes and the fans behind us are always great as usual so um, the best part about Tucson is that you have a great support system and that they help you through anything and yeah I think you're always going to hear negative talk about situations that occur um, and you know what it's like to be in a situation like that especially being um, an athlete at a college a collegiate level so um, it's hard but knowing that you have support is the best thing anybody can do because your fans will always support you regardless and your team always has your backs. One more for Taylor. What parting advice did Danielle have for you? Uh, <laughs> I think Danielle's a very genuine person and um, we had a heart to heart before she left and you know she said keep this team going keep it strong. Um, one of the biggest things that the seniors had said before they left is to keep the tradition alive, keep everything that they had taught us going. And I think that's something that had stuck with all of the returners from this year is that we don't want it. We don't want the tradition. We don't want the A. We don't want everything that we've built to kind of just dissipate and fall off and have to rebuild. We want to continue that building process and just bring everybody with us. Um, and that's one of the biggest things, you know, I think that um, from a, a pitching perspective, she's taught me a lot. and. Um, we worked really well together, so I think now the best thing about it is that I get to learn how to work well with all of the other pitchers and um, get to bond with new pitchers the way that me and Danielle had a bond as well on the field.